A North Carolina school district mourns the death of a bus driver. She died following an early morning crash. Our Kylie Jones talked to the superintendent and has more details. The superintendent here tells me the death of Tina Gordon hits hard working with Henderson County Public Schools for more than a decade. He says she touched lives throughout the district. The Henderson County School District mourns the death of one of its own. This is the kind of circumstance that no school system family uh, ever wants to have to experience. The district says its bus driver, 53 year old Tina Gordon, died following a crash Tuesday morning. Superintendent John Bryant says she was on her morning route for East Henderson High and Flat Rock Middle School. He says four students were also on the bus when it flipped over off Green River Road. I think anytime you talk about school system families, you just recognize um, you know how close we all are. And uh, I knew Tina personally. I'm proud to say that I knew her personally and know her family. But you, when you're a part of a school system, you're part of a very close knit group. First responders say Tina died at the scene. Those four students, school officials say, were taken to the hospital for observation. Whether it be the group of bus drivers that serve and support students together or the school families that she served. Uh, she was a member of our child nutrition program early in her career and then served as a bus driver for over 10 years. Uh, again, we just mourn the loss of someone uh, who's gone much too soon. Knowing Tina personally, Bryant calls this a tough loss. Unfortunately, it's crisis that often brings us together in that way. And so hopefully what we will continue to see is Henderson County and Henderson County Public Schools lean into each other. The crash and Tina's cause of death are still under investigation. Bryant says those four students have been released from the hospital. He says the entire district is rallying around her family. In Henderson County, Kylie Jones, WYFF News 4.